Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this azure devops tutorial series today let's discuss about what are download artifacts in azure pipeline okay in our earlier video we discussed about uh, how to publish artifacts right and continuing with that we will just try to understand how how do we actually download that artifact and use it in our subsequent stages all right so generally when you are working with multiple stages right um you know you would have uh, produced an artifact in a build stage if you want to use those in our in your subsequent stages you cannot directly uh, reference that uh, publish artifact all you need to do is you need to download that in your subsequent stages and use it accordingly okay so let's see how we can do that so let me go to the pipeline which i have been using for demo purpose so this is the one and right so you can see this is the sample yaml that i've used last time around where i have just created a build stage alone okay so if i expand this build stage you can see i have a simple task called uh, to install dot net and just a copy file activity and finally i have published that artifact okay so if i want to use these published artifacts in my subsequent stages i need to download it in my subsequent stages right so for first i will create a another stage okay so i have a stage here right so next to this i will create a another stage okay so let me call that stage as um, say deploy to dev deploy to dev and this is an optional one you can have a display name for a better readability so display name will be something like deployment to Uh, development environment okay you can give some meaningful display name all right and then uh, <coughs> you will have to pass the jobs okay so we are going to perform a deploy deployment activity right so i will have a parameter called deployment deployment and i will call that deployment as let me call it as deployed develop uh, dev deployment okay and let's have an environment to deploy okay where do we actually deploy it right so let me call it as environment and the environment is dev if you want to double check i have already created an environment in one of my previous sessions so if you you can go here and uh, refer that so here i can use this dev environment so i'm just refer referencing it here and then i need to actually pass on the actual job so actual job would be uh, let's call it as download pipeline download build artifacts okay download build artifacts <coughs> again you can have a referencing display name let me call it as download build artifacts this is just for better readability in your radio okay and next let's have our actual steps in this steps we need to actually download the artifacts right so we have to include a task called download build artifacts okay download build artifacts so i am going to use the latest one build artifacts one you can either uh, use uh, type this task or you can go to the show assistant part and you can look for uh, download um build artifacts okay so download all right so you can either use this uh, download build artifacts task and once you click on this you can just fill in all the required details and if you add it you will get um all the details added here okay but for now uh, for you uh, know understanding each and every terms and how the syntax works i'm i'm just planning to type it here okay so i have added a task here now let me try to give a proper display name uh, let me call it as what do i call so download build artifacts from drop okay let me call it as download build artifacts from drop okay and then i am going to provide few inputs okay so inputs will be my artifacts name right uh, what do i need to download my artifact right so artifact name it will be drop 
um, and then I need to provide my download path okay so you can I am gonna provide a download path here so download path would be uh, let me call it as dollar pipeline dot workspace okay this is the default uh, download path that I'm gonna utilize okay so now I have actually downloaded my artifact and uh, it is actually present in I am uh, in this pipeline dot workspace which is the default workspace of this pipeline okay and then um, what I can add another simple task okay that is optional one just for our better understanding I am just adding another PowerShell task okay PowerShell task to oops PowerShell task to verify if the if the downloaded file actually exists or not all right so let me add another task called powershell2 and i will provide in inputs there inputs um let's and let there be a target type okay target type would be inline so i'm just trying to write an inline powershell script okay so i need to provide this particular syntax and then i'm gonna pass my script here so this is the actual syntax in a radio task to provide a um, PowerShell inline script. Okay, so now I'm gonna pass this download path, download path, and this download path I can have it as dollar. So it is pipeline dot workspace, right? okay so here i have my download path in my download so this is my download path right so i'm gonna reference it to drop this is my artifact okay so for now i am assuming this is where my file existing i want to verify if the file exists in this particular path or not so in order to do that i'm gonna add a simple if condition called if test path dollar download path okay or in that case i'm just opening this yes, braces and then i'm just trying to write it to a host just a simple print statement okay write host um, download path exists okay and i will print that download path here what is the download path it is this <coughs> okay now i will add an else statement and let me call that else statement here right host download path does not exist okay does not exist and again i'm gonna reference that download path here oh, i think i missed it here yeah, download path and here i'm gonna that download path again i don't think this is needed i'm removing that quotation path and if that file doesn't exist i'm just i want to fail that particular task so i'm just failing it with exit code one okay so this will exit with error code if the path does not exist okay so this is a simple powershell script which i've added to verify if the downloaded path exists or not okay for now let me validate and save it i'm committing to the main branch directly so let me run this you can see now my build stage is started so this will take some time to run so i'm going to pause this video for a while once the build and deployment is succeeded i will resume back okay and now i have resumed back my video now you can clearly see 
both my build stage and deployment to development stage completed successfully okay so let me go inside this so you can clearly see my build job is my build stage is completed here and i have another stage called deployment to development environment now my de deployment is completed and you can clearly see i have a download build artifact task here okay so in here i am most interested in this powershell task okay so this is the latest task i have added right so before that we can see download build artifacts from the drop okay so you can clearly look at all the logs in this console which will give you a clear idea about what it is trying to download where it is downloaded and all those details you can clearly view it in your download build artifacts from drop stage okay in this particular task in addition to that i have added a powershell task to actually verify if the downloaded path does exist or not right so it clearly says my download path exists and it is giving me that location as well so similarly you can try uh, you know passing an invalid path and see if this works or not okay so that you will have a better control or you know better picture around how uh, the download artifacts in the edio pipeline works all right so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys i would suggest you to try this on your own because whenever you try this you will uh, you will get more of more build errors okay so have that real time practice and solve those build errors if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you